Good afternoon. It is Wednesday and that means it's time for my blog. So I'm going to be doing the two top sections, which is news and your updates all at the same time. I feel that they do coincide and co-align. So um, obviously we had, uh, I think it was on Thursday or Friday, we had the IAAF or the South African team updated again for, I don't even know, the 10th time. Um, and then obviously what I was just incredibly, incredibly proud of was that all the runners and all the athletes and everyone were coming to the party. You know, we all didn't agree and it was, it was just fantastic to see, you know, the road runners and, you know, just disagreeing and, you know, telling the selectors where, who are these guys and we were really just, you know, wanting to, uh, I know Altus gave the email address and said flood these guys email, bo email boxes um, and it was fantastic. But... Like always, there is always one person ready to ruin the party. So we're going to call this guy Mr. Let's call this guy Mr. A for anonymous. So Mr. A decides to throw in a racial comment. And Mr. A thinks that because the teams are now reselected, it is meaning that we're putting more white people in. Now, I'm sorry, Mr. A, but I totally 110% disagree with you because if you're going to try and make a racist comment about something like that you are ruining your bloody name it is not about that it's for the benefit of the sport for the benefit of making everything great again we are disagreeing with with whoever the selectors are and the body is because we we think that putting students or youth youth on a stage with professional athletes and in the highest form that they can go, they're probably not going to perform as great as they would. But putting people that have been on that stage before, they know the intensity, they know the BMT, the big match temperament. It's not and it has nothing to do with race. You, my friend, you are silly. Okay? I'm painting you, Mr. A, and I'm not saying your name because I think that that might actually be to your detriment. But how can you put it and and say it as race. So guys, this guy literally had people in minutes commenting and telling him to bugger off and to off, quite frankly. Okay, hold on, where's my flag? At Soweto, I did the sub two hour bus. Not the, fa the fact is, when I was talking to some of the guys on my bus, and I asked the guy, you know, what do you do? And he was like, no, I'm actually a mayor. And I didn't, I didn't actually ask him what he was a mayor of or where or from or whatever the case is and then the guy next to him started talking and they actually started talking and I asked him what did you do and he's like no I'm actually a gardener for a residential or for a residence and I, I looked at this and I'm like there you have it a guy who is a gardener and a guy who's a mayor of a city running together that's what it means if you, Mr. Anonymous, cannot see what the last hour of comrades can bring, I don't care. The fact that someone is helping you, that is running. That's why we do it. That's why we live it. That's why we breathe it. That's why I make this blog. This vlog. Uh, I have also made myself a little bit of a Strava segment. Um, just around my complex and I mean if you guys know and follow me on Strava you guys know that I, I do something called the Sunny's Route I'm, I'm inviting you guys so just hit me up call me phone me whatsapp me facebook me I don't care just come down and come have a run on this little segment it's just something to involve and just to get us um, yeah just to get us together talking and it doesn't matter who you are just Come and try it out. Except for at my at my you probably would smash this. My whole point is I want to actually try and better myself by getting better runners down here. And at my would just actually completely just take this away from me and I'll never get it again. But no, I'm joking. At my I'll see you next week. So we're gonna start off with the running league. So the Mzanzi running league, I'm gonna post a link of below, as well as Lisa's blog. Now Lisa's blog is Little Forest. That's the name of her blog. Um, and uh, obviously the league as well and another shout out to Malalu and he ran a sub 38 10k now that is crazy fast uh, he obviously is the athlete of the week and a man with a stature of six foot I don't know how much and built like Hulk uh, of course he did of course he bloody did um, but he's a great personal friend of mine so well done mate and um, I hope you had a great time up there so our races on Saturday, we have the Spa Ladies, which is my selection, which has taken place uh, in Pretoria. We also have the Skakuza Castle Lager Half Marathon, and that I know is on a lot of people's calendars. So I'm sure there will be quite a few number of people that are going to be going up there. 
And then in the free state, it is the IPL Sun to Sun Half Marathon. And as for Sunday, the 6th of August, I'm going to keep this very simple and very short. It is going to be the first of the Vitality Series, the Old Eds, the 10 and the 21. So make sure that you are there. And then still keeping it on Sunday, the Western Province, it is the Spur Trail Series. So make sure that you catch the Trail Series there. It is the 3rd of the 4th. So we're almost coming down to the wire, and I hope you got your points in for that one. And that is all the races on Sunday. And now we have our five fun facts from friends. And today we have Christopher Ferguson. Christopher Ferguson has run more park runs than anyone I know. So he's given us his five fun facts, and boy, are they fruity. Uh, so obviously there's a park run in, in every country that there is a park run. There's, the park run is a five kilometer event, and it starts at 8 a.m. everywhere. And obviously there are 111 parkrun venues in South Africa. Now the 112th one is starting this Saturday at Heelside Golf Course in Pretoria. So we can add that to our events, event calendar. And then obviously there's only three athletes who have run all 111 events plus 112, which is going to be the Saturday Heelside Golf Course. And that is obviously Bruce Fordyce, his wife Jill and Jabu. So parkrun is inclusive of everyone. They do uh, the Olympic athletes down to your walkers, your pets, your cats, everyone. Bring them along. And uh, there's obviously a record. So the record is set for the men at 14.17. And the woman is 16.35. And at this stage, I'm probably looking like I'm never even going to get close to that woman's record. And number four, parkrun tourists are athletes that have run 20 or more venues. And you can see that by their brightly orange colored caps or buffs. Um, and any parkrunner that does 50 receives a red shirt. Uh, any parkrunner that, that does 100 receives a black shirt. And the little 250, which are, the, are very rarely spotted, and that is the green shirts. So the fifth and the last fact is parkrun is free at every single venue everywhere around the world. If you signed up, you've signed up for life. So you can go and sign up now, and obviously their website is parkrun.ca.za, and sign up, go do your first one, and if you are watching this and you've never run before, it's a great place to start. That's it from me guys, and we will see you again next week.